Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it's the 20th day of August. New information from the National Hurricane Center is arriving right now. Tropical Depression 13 formed late last night. It will get the name Laura. It's moving in the general direction of Florida and then into the Gulf of Mexico. So does that mean it's heading for us? Will it be a tropical storm? Will it be a hurricane? And when? What about the timeline? I have the latest coming up on that. Plus, we had that big complex of storms last night in central Alabama. Uh, some areas between Wetumpka and Montgomery had anywhere from 5 to 7 inches of rain. Uh, trees down, power lines down, severe thunderstorm warning, and another active day on radar today and tomorrow. The radar is going to be very uh, colorful. I'll show you future radar, and we'll look ahead to the weekend. What about the weekend details? Tropical Depression 13, well east of the islands this morning, moving quickly west-northwest at 21. Expected to become Tropical Storm Laura by this evening on a course that takes it north of the Antilles in the direction of the Bahamas, then to South Florida, then into the eastern Gulf of Mexico by Monday night as a 70-mile-an-hour tropical storm, almost a hurricane. Is it going to be headed for our coast by the middle of the week? We don't know. Stay tuned. We're going to continue to watch this system very carefully, of course. Meanwhile, we could see some strong storms today. All of the state and much of the southeastern U.S. in a marginal severe weather risk from the Storm Prediction Center. We could see some uh, damaging wind gusts just like we saw across the state uh, yesterday and last night. Some prolific rainfall totals in the middle of the night. South of downtown Wetumpka, up to five inches of rain has fallen. Seven inches are in North Montgomery in the Boylston area. Some trees and power lines down. Severe thunderstorm warnings in the late night hours. And uh, we see some frontal systems draped through the state today. They will be the focus for more widespread showers and thunderstorms, especially by this afternoon and this evening. So we may have a quiet morning before things fire up later on in the day. Uh, so get ready for some more tropical downpours in spots. In fact, here is uh, one model's radar uh, snapshot at 2 o'clock in the afternoon showing a very active radar, and that will continue well into the evening hours and nighttime hours. So afternoon showers and thunderstorms rather numerous today with a high temperature up around 90. I think tonight's low 70. And again, the storms could last well into the nighttime hours like last night before fading out. Another active thunderstorm day tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms rather numerous. I have the rain chances pretty high on Friday. Not quite as high Saturday, but still a generous supply of showers and storms around. We'll start to taper the storms down though towards Sunday not quite as many around we'll put the rain chances in more in the 30 to 40 percent range and perhaps a little bit less than that on Monday then all eyes on the tropics uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are up for debate as we continue to watch the the future of what will become tropical storm Laura uh, out in the eastern Gulf of Mexico where will it end up more on that in a moment we have uh, rain chances high at 60 percent on Friday a 40% chance on Saturday, a 30% chance Sunday, a little lower Monday than on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, everything depends on what's going on in the tropics and out in the Gulf of Mexico. I've got the beach forecast rain chances pretty high on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a uh, Gulf water temperature now at 86 and high temperatures in the middle 80s. So it's going to be very active down on the coast uh, as far as the number of storms. Meanwhile, besides uh, third, Tropical Depression 13, we have Indus 97L with an 80% chance of becoming a Tropical Depression as it heads in the general direction of the Yucatan. Where will this sy system end up? Well, the general consensus, uh, based on most models, is this is probably going to be uh, destined for uh, perhaps the Texas Gulf Coast. Uh, there are many question marks about that, but we'll continue to watch. And uh, really, the models won't get a really good handle on it until we have a, a, a closed circulation on Invest 97L. Then, of course, we have that uh, area to watch just emerging off the African coast now with a 40% chance of development. We have a long time to watch the... Uh in this hurricane season of 2020, seemingly on steroids, as far as the name storms at a record level so early, it's nice to know that a group of professionals are making a big difference in the accuracy of hurricane forecasts. The hurricane hunters have flown three times the missions so far this year compared to last year at this time. We'll talk about their mission and what it means on my Weather Extra tonight at 6 and 10 on CBS 8 and ABC 32, the Alabama News Network. All right, so the hurricane hunters are going to be very busy here over the next few days, not only with what will become Laura, but also 
with uh, the future of what will become probably Marco and maybe eventually down the line Nana. We're just burning through the names. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on Newstalk 93.1, live on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. and your forecast. Whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. I'll keep you up to date on the tropics. Pretty interesting stuff. We'll see you later.